Let's say you are given a problem like this, and you are told to list the possible positive roots, negative roots, and imaginary roots. On this type of problem, you are going to start by counting the sign changes. Positive to negative is yes. Negative to positive is yes. Positive to negative again and negative to positive, bringing you to a total of four sign changes. Next we count down by two until we get to zero. This gives us our total possible positive roots. Next we need to find out the negative roots, so we plug in f of negative x. The rule of thumb is if the power is even, the sign will stay the same. If it is odd, the sign will change. So here, negative 3x to the 5th becomes positive 3x to the 5th. 4x to the 4th will remain the same. 3x will change because its power is 1, which is odd. And 6 will remain unchanged because it is constant. Here we have no sign changes because they are all positive. So we have zero possible negative roots. Now, the trickiest part is to figure out the imaginary roots. The key is to remember that we need six total roots. So with each possible combination, we need to add up to six. Four, zero, two. Two, zero, four. And zero, zero, six. Each combination adds up to six. This gives you the positive, negative, and imaginary roots.